Hey, this is Metal Mike, and welcome to the new Metal for Life column. This month's column is called Forgotten Scroll, and we are going to talk about the roads less traveled and heavy metal guitar playing. I took the name Forgotten Scroll from a band called Apocrypha from the late 80s, and you guys out there, I know some of you guys know what I'm talking about. So let's check this out. Forgotten Scroll. <laughs> Okay, so you've heard a sound like that, perhaps used by Jakey e. Lee on some of the mid ozzy records. What I mean by that is sort of like the, uh, the Bark at the Moon album for me. I love that record, and there's a lot of really cool playing in there. So a lot of the sounds that you hear in the back of, of different chords orchestrated is something like what this example is all about. In order to play this example, you're going to be utilizing a lot of alternate picking. And this whole entire example is played on a third and fourth string using various um, fourths and major thirds. Uh, with the exception of the final, um, what I'm going to call a shape, which is like a minor third here in A. All right, so let me show you how this riff goes. One thing to remember is that I'm doing two picks on each string, which is really the sound of this lick. The first part goes like this. I move the shape up to the 12th fret. I'll go back to the beginning. And I finish the lick by playing this. So I'll play a shape that goes and that resolves to the E. Here's another lick that utilizes two strings and contains an open string as well as fretted notes. Check this out. So here's another example that's built on threes and fours rhythmic syncopation. In a way, this is sort of like an etude or a short musical piece designed to practice, right? To develop our skills. And the main motif of this example is based off of um, open B string with these type of notes. <laughs> And we'll continue on. So you have um, some open E notes on the top string and open B notes on the, on the second string with obviously fretted notes. I move this example down to the fifth fret and play this. Move it up in the scale. Keep moving up. And I finish it off with a um, all fretted note. And here's the, one of my favorite parts of this um, lick. 
is that in a lot of the sort of um, classically inspired music or something like Paul Gilbert or Ingve would do, they would have that vibrato on the end of the phrase, but not necessarily on the highest note, but actually play on the lowest note. So check this out. So you know what kind of sound I'm talking about. Okay, here's another example that falls on two strings, bottom two strings, and there's a combination of two different scales. Okay, so the reason that makes this riff interesting is that you have a movement that goes up the fretboard, but you drop down one note on the sixth string. And this is sort of one of those things that at least guitar players, from what I observed, we don't really do a whole lot. Meaning that if you go up the scale, we just sort of keep shredding up on one string or go on two strings. But as far as going on the string and dropping down the note, it's a little bit of a strange movement to some of us. So let me show you how this goes. <laughs> So the whole first part is based on C major. But the last two phrases are actually in F major. 